It is possible to secure connections with your Microtech devices using TLS. The standard usage is to create a certificate assuring your server's identity with a public-private key pair, and then have another party, a certificate authority, sign the certificate with their private key. That way, anyone connecting to your server will verify the server's identity with the public key of the certificate authority, and only then will they use the public key of the server to establish an encrypted communication channel. Getting certificates signed by a CA is a must-have for online businesses, but it is costly and impractical for individuals who wish to secure their routers. What if you are the only one who will be using this certificate, and you are not worried about the authenticity of the device at the other end? You just want to establish an encrypted communication using TLS. In such a case, you can make use of what is called a self-signed certificate, which means that there will be no CA ensuring the authenticity of the certificate owner and only one key pair is going to be used, yours. On your router, go to slash certificate. I'm not going to cover this section in full detail, but here you can create your own certificates and sign them. So the router can basically act as the server and also as the CA if necessary. Of course, you can use this section to import certificates that have been created and signed elsewhere. For example, if you used OpenSSL. Okay, let's create our own certificate. You can specify whatever key size you like. The longer the key size, the stronger it is. This creates what could be considered a template. Now we need to sign it. The certificate has been signed. It is now valid for 365 days and the key usage has been set for all available options. Now we can put this to use. Go to IP service. Here you can see a service named www-ssl. This is a service which allows us to access our web fig through HTTPS if we set up a certificate. So let's do that. And now we can disable the www service which ensures we can access web fig through port 80. Now if I enter the IP address of my router, I'm given a warning, but if I click on advanced, I can accept the risk and continue. The reason for this warning is that no certificate authority has been used, so anybody could have created this certificate. If you look at the URL, you can see the padlock and that HTTPS is used. It was that simple. On the IP service list, you can see there's also something called API-SSL. You could use it to secure your router's API, but you are not limited to these services. A self-signed certificate such as this one could be used to establish your VPN, but we won't do that just now. If you are going to set up several services that use TLS, you should create multiple certificates. And instead of making them all self-signed, you could take another approach where your router literally acts as a private CA. First, you create a single self-signed root certificate and specify the key used to be only key search sign and CRL sign. This will prevent it from being used for any other purpose other than signing certificates. Then create your regular certificates just as we did before, but in this case, use the root certificate to sign them by specifying the CA property to be this, the name of the root certificate. Thank you for watching.